This school is named after Alma A. Henderson. Alma A. Henderson was a pioneer in the education arena in Baltimore City. This school was built to commemorate this man's love for education. When I think of Peter, he reminds us of that principal that was at the original Alma A. Henderson School. I was a teacher in East Baltimore and then helped support and lead nonprofits. Then I was really proud to be appointed on the Board of School Commissioners. I toured with a principal who was on fire. He was in a school thinking about what he was gonna do for his school, his community. He showed me his data. I went home that night and said to my wife, I know what I'm gonna do. I wanna be a principal. I became a proud first year, 48 year old principal. He always says he's trying to fulfill this promise, and the promise is, is that we're gonna give kids a world-class education. He is relentless in his pursuit to make sure that we can do whatever it takes. Being outside of a school, the mindset I was able to work on was this entrepreneurial mindset, looking at data, coming up with action plans. We're tracking data on how kids are feeling before school and after school. Like, they check in, I feel this way. The data talks that we're having around how kids are doing, I would say that's been the, probably one of the most significant things that I've seen in action in a school. We're very proud of the progress we made in the academics, but then how do you do it? Looking where gaps are and then filling it. We have an amazing partner in Johns Hopkins University, and could we tap the undergraduates and graduate students to come to our school? Now we have 80 tutors, and they tutor virtually all of our fourth and eighth grade students. It takes a lot of hard work at looking at data, having a team of people, and just a commitment towards growth every day. What we say here is growth matters most. He came with a set of goals that he has been determined to see through, not just for the school, but for each individual student. He understands the barriers that could erect themselves and oppose challenges to their achievement, and he is intentional about knocking every one of them down. This is a phenomenal school and an amazing community, but it's also, I was entered as a guest I walked into a school that had to do some repair with the community. Food insecurity was a big deal in our community. How are we going to help meet this need? And so we expanded our relationship with the Maryland Food Bank. He said we needed to be a hub where people could get fresh produce and fresh meats and vegetables and things like that. When we began, we were just giving out bags of food. Now we're giving out all types of baskets and boxes of food. Thanks to Mr. Cannon for having a heart for our community. Peter actually was a major part of the healing that not only the school needed, but this community needed. Not only has he turned the children around. Peter has touched the parents in this school, and I believe that's a large component of why he's been successful. I'm finishing up my five years and it just feels like home. It's a wonderful place to wake up every day. A lot of days I don't feel like I'm going to work. I feel like I'm just, I'm, I'm just really happy here. <laughs>